we begin to be truthful and go on the path of opening ourselves to the truth of what is not yet manifest, the promise and dream of what could manifest in our future. We begin that path with a path of discernment about truth that has manifested. So what is our discernment of that? What's our discernment of the patterns of truth that we see in our world? We have to be discerning of that, both the, the pattern of facts that is true to the truth and the patterns of fact that, that don't bring life. So it takes a discernment. We have to be willing to see not just what we want to see, but to see what is. Not to see just what we wish we were there, but to see what's really there. Believing that in the end, what's really there is far more beautiful than anything we could make up. And yes, we have to, to be willing to see all that's happening for better or for worse. But with the faith, faith that it's leading to something glorious and wonderful. All of it. So we have to be willing to discern. And then we have to be willing to be honest with ourselves and other people about what we are discerning. It's not just what we wish it would be. It's not just the story that we would like to be telling other people. But it is what it is. Honesty requires that we not only discern patterns of truth that are manifesting, but then we're honest about them to ourselves. We don't lie to ourselves about what's happening in our own immediate human experience. We're willing to begin to tell the truth to ourselves. And then we tell the truth to each other. We don't try to make it worse than the truth, putting people down, criticizing, judging. No, it's not about that. It's being an impartial observer of fact and reporter of fact, of truth, being truthful. That range of being truthful about the manifest develops that very same capacity of truthfulness that we exercise with what is not manifest. And so I get back to the question, how can we be truthful about the unmanifest if we're not even truthful about the manifest? And we live in a world that in so many ways is not truthful about what's manifesting. We want to develop our truth muscle in the manifest so that we can exercise it relative to the unmanifest, so that we can have an unvarnished perception, discernment of what has not yet manifested. We can be honest about what that is, not trying to make it into something that's different, not trying to make up some design of the invisible that's imaginary, but discerning what really is, what's really there for us, knowing and trusting the unmanifest, the beauty of it. We're here to, to do that together, to be in that discernment. It is the generation of truthfulness, the prana of truthfulness in living that allows us to connect with the invisible and then allows the invisible, the unmanifest truth to manifest, first of all, in our awareness and then in our expression and our embodiment of it and our noble action that is bringing that truth into the world. These principles I know are true for anybody, anybody, any place. In whatever walk of life, wherever they are in the world, truth matters. 
And I would urge anyone anywhere to be truthful about the manifest and learn to be truthful thereby about the unmanifest and find the glory that's in the unmanifest and let it manifest. <laughs>